Oh. No! Oh, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Yo, it's been so long since I actually wheelied this thing. Oh, getting swirly. Got some wind going, boys. Today, we're working on the tandem scooter again. We did a little readjustment on how we're building it, and we kind of went with a different uh, idea. So today, uh, it's time to get that thing running. We got it welded up last time put together if you already saw it and uh, yeah we just got to get her wired up a little bit get some juice in her get her going a bit I was bored and I just want to take the scooter out of the garage because I haven't rode this thing in so long kind of forgot what it felt like to wheelie it figured I'd hit Mexico real quick it's so windy I think we're gonna get this green. Sorry, boys. Oh, we lost her anyways. Literally, the whole front of the scooter's loose. I don't know if you can see this, but she's all falling apart right now. Needs a couple zips. This thing feels a little funky right now. I don't know if it's because I'm just used to the dirt bikes now or, or this thing actually got some weird stuff going on. All right, step one of the tandem scooter build today is supporting the frame. So. Um, we're gonna go with the design. We got some thick metal in the backyard that we're gonna grab right now Figure out a way to mount from here straight from the front frame to the, the head tube of the rear frame Whether it be one solid bar if we have thick enough metal or we'll run two bars for support um, Also welding this little piece to the fork so it's solid and doesn't pivot there um, And then we'll cut that off whenever we want to take this scooter off. So first things first. Let's go get some metal for support So I don't know where the extension cord went, but Angle grinder, we'll cut some up. Good old rod, ready to be cut. How you feeling? Where's the extension cord? Where's that? Dude, you're gonna need that tetanus shot, bro. Check out the cut. Thinking just one rod should be plenty enough strength, but I guess we'll find out. Go this way. One rod, like so. Weld her in. That's a. Th She's thick there too, and then we'll weld her up here. Um, that should be strong enough since there's not like a dual head tube up here. It's literally a single head tube, so it's literally going to the straight to the only support point. Um, worst comes worst, we'll do like two set diagonal. That way it doesn't have a pivot point. But I think that will be strong enough. What do you think? Good. Should be good. But she's already kind of strong even without it. But you definitely want some support on there. So we also want to like lift this while we do it, so we can. All right, everything's welded together for the frames. Now we're just been back here. I just got the brake all hooked up. Um, been hooking up some of the fuel lines. He's over there messing with some of the wiring. Um, this thing should just be plug and play because uh, this scooter was already had a running harness with a 150GY6. So for now, we're gonna run the throttle off the back scooter, but um, we plan on coming back uh, after we just make sure it's actually running and good. We gotta make the throttle cable longer so the front person has the throttle. Uh, a few things like that, and this thing will be pretty dialed, dude. I'm trying to figure out the whole harness for the motor. It's a little, uh, what you'd call, uh, MacGyvered over there. A lot of mix-up. It seems like most of the problem with Ray's moped was literally wiring. I think we'll have this thing started tonight. No exhaust, so it's gonna sound like a boatmobile. Oh, that was all she had? That's all she had? Yeah. She cranked over for a second, but... Light works. So I cast a crazy shadow on the person in front of me. Yo! Hold on. Oh my god! This thing damn near did a wheelie, bro! How much gas were you giving her? Not that much. Yo! <laughs> oh. Ow. I'm out. Uh, why is there metal coming out of the motor? <laughs> Is there oil in this thing? Check the oil. Boy, she starts.
who knows what's going on in this motor right now, but um, I'd say our best bet would probably just be ride it until it blows. We already got this far. Death machine. Absolute death machine. I were throwing a new fuel filter in because the other one wasn't allowing fuel in, it seemed like. It seemed like it was clogged up or something, so threw the new filter in. Very good sucks. You should pull some fuel through. It's all sun. Putting the seat on the front scooter. Try to get her a little dialed in so we can give her a test run. This exhaust that we had on the side is cracked as you can tell up there. So I just got this other header I had on the side of the house that we're gonna cut, re-weld to this exhaust, make one exhaust out of the two. Alright, we just welded the exhaust back together. Um, it's too hot to touch right now and put on, so we're gonna go ahead and try to test this thing out with no exhaust real quick, even though it's about to be ignorantly loud. Um, we're just gonna see how she works. The throttle right now is on the back person, so I'm literally just steering, that's it. Yo, first look. She's looking beefy, bro. Let's give her a tester. This thing is literally the sketchiest thing ever because the tires are completely flat, so it's just like drifting the whole time. Bro, hop in the front so I can show you how sketchy it is to be in the front. <laughs> Tire is gonna be so destroyed with all that weight on it. Let's put my wheel on it. Right? Yeah, let's put let's your wheel it. on it. I wanna actually ride it. Yeah, let's ride this thing. Let's go. <laughs> Bro, that thing it's felt scary, so deep. But... It's scary because the flat wheel though, because you can feel yeah. it drifting. No, you're like you ride the left side of the yeah. rim on the tire, then you ride the right side. So the throttles up here too. So I know. Once the throttles up there, you can actually ride it by, by yourself. yourself yeah. It's already getting dark, but we didn't put the exhaust on yet because we want to try this thing out. Dude, this thing actually flies. Like, we're cruising right now. Are you going to make a left? Okay. You literally have to, like, communicate. Only because I have throttle. If the front person... Yo, when the front person has throttle, there's no control for the back. The back person just has to hold on for dear life. <laughs> there's the light. <laughs> Yeah, let's go here. It's so ignorant without the exhaust on. Oh! No! Oh! What are you doing? We got a <laughs> Chill out, bro! <laughs> I was yanking the brake. This thing doesn't use the back brake. I was waiting for you to stop. Alright, dude, this is... This is gonna be way too much fun, but the thing, the thing runs, dude. I know, dude, we're flying, bro. All I know is if my part snaps, I'm gonna be pissed, because I'm gonna go nose into the ground. Yo, this bump right here is the death of us. Take it, little boy. Dude, this thing is an absolute machine. Look at it. I, I don't know how we're gonna beef up the suspension a little bit more, but. Oh, that. Yo. <laughs> we gotta hit a car meet in this, bro. 
comment below where you want to see us go with the tandem scooter. I want to see some people's reactions, dude. Yeah, dude, the tandem scooter works, bro. It works really good.